हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर ऑनलाइन चैनल मैन इज चेतन जाधव सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट मैनुअल पार्ट प्रोग्रामिंग सो टुडे लेक्चर वी विल सी द चैप्टर नंबर फाइव फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ एन सी सिस्टम सो इन दैट वी विल सी इवेल्यूशन ऑफ द एन सी एंड रेट्रो फिटिंग एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन सी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम कंसेप्ट ऑफ वर्क जीरो एंड मशीन जीरो टाइप्स ऑफ एन सी सिस्टम स्ट्रक्चर ड्राइव्स एंड अदर डिवाइसेज वट आर द स्टेप्स इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग देयर एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम एलिमेंट्स ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम सम एप्लीकेशन एंड एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस इन फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल कंट्रोल मशीन so according to electronic industry association numerical control is a machine which will we are going to provide that part program to that machine which is um, created from the cad database and we are going to directly give as input to nc machine for the further manufacturing it is a system in which actions are controlled by direct insertion of the numerical data at some point the system must automatically interpret at the at least some portion of the data okay so this is the basic uh, information regarding the, the numerical control machines means we are going to create one uh, part manufacturing for that we are going to prepare one cnc part programming and simply we are going to give the input as this program for the for the manufacturing and uh, that program uh, that numerical control is uh, just controlled by direct insertion of the numerical data whatever we are giving that input data as a geometric data or as a programming data they they will just uh, controlled by itself okay so this is introduction of the numerical control so we will see the uh, evolution of the enc and retrofitting how they are inventing how they are developing the that uh, enc machine system so first inventor john's person from the mit that is the massachusetts instead of the technology uh, first of all 1949 us us air force asked to mit to develop the numerical controlled machine for their work okay this is the first uh, evolution after that in 1952 the, the first prototype of the nc machine is demonstrated using the punch tape input this is one of the input here we can give the uh signals to that nc machine to uh, what to do or uh, what to do uh, for that uh, particular manufacturing so uh, puncher tape is uh, one of the just input device to we have to provide the some information to that machine so this is one of the platform where we can the give input for that machine okay next after that in 1959 mit announced that automatic program tool programming language is launched okay so after that in 1960 direct numerical control eliminate the paper tape punch program and instead of that they are using directly program files or soft files they are using for the manufacturing they are directly send to that file to machine tool without using the paper tape punch after that in 1970 cnc machine tools and distributed numerical control machines are invented in 1980 graphics geometrical model based on the cam system introduced means uh, whatever that manufacturing uh, system is there software is there for uh, developing 3d model creating the wireframe database creating the solid model database surface model database for that purpose in 1980 cam system is introduced in our era in 1990 price dropped in cnc technology 1997 pc windows based was cnc system is introduced um, by using personal computer we can handle the all the numerical control machines uh, information or we can give the input as a program by using the pc windows in 1997 after 2009 we are using the windows 7 and later on we are using 8 10 like this we are just updating 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 okay so this is the first just uh, evolution part so you can see here this is the first numerical control machine by mit institute okay so you can just imagine the size of this machine 
even that uh, when you many person is there greater than the person height that uh, program or the machine size is bigger than this height okay so just you can imagine the the first cnc machine how it works okay so this is just a history part so we will see the numerical control of the machine tool uh, what is exactly a numerical control means uh, means it is uh, just we have uh, we are going to creating the uh, one cnc part program for our uh, uh, de uh, desired part production purpose okay so in that we are uh, just uh, we have to give input as a part program by using various numbers letters symbols we are controlling that system okay that means uh, numerical control means we have to control that whatever given uh, program by using these machines for the given design manufacturing production okay so numerical control of the machine tools is defined as a method of the automation in which various functions of machine tools various function means we are going to creating any uh, drilling milling holding okay like this functions of machines which uh, machine tool are controlled by the numbers letters control by numbers means we are giving some uh, prepared code g code means suppose i will give as a g0 rapid travels means by using this numbers letters we are controlling this um, numerical control machine for given desired manufacturing so this is just overview about the numerical control so you can just see here this is our basic uh, uh, drawing from that drawing we want to create the actual production okay so from uh, this drawing we have to create first a nc part program this is our nc part program from that we have to create the one tape because this is our input device for the tape reader so this is a tape reader paper tape reader and from that this is actually our control machines from that cnc or vmc whatever that numerical control machine is there and from that we are giving signals to directly our machines so this is machine so this is the basic figure related to elements of the nc machine tools operation how that nc machine operation is carried out so you can just imagine you can just, you can just see the this is our part drawing from that we have to create the nc part program for that we have to create one punch tape or program tape for the further uh, reading purpose and after that paper tape reader he will transfer the signal from the machine's controller and controller should be start uh, transfer that signal to actual ma manufacturing machines okay so this is the overview about the nc machine tool operation so next part is the uh, elements of the nc manufacturing system so you can see here this is the one figure is there in that there are three part is their main part so first part is a programming second machine control unit and last one is processing equipment so this is the three elements major elements of the nc manufacturing system in which first part is a part program second is machine control unit in that we will see the data processing unit and control loop unit we will see in details in next slide and last one is a processing equipment that is nothing but your actual numerical control machine so what is the functions of the program first it is used for the part program in machining and machining control unit is means control the whole the process and last one is perform the process so we will see the start from the first point that is part program the part program is a set of statement means uh, we are giving some input to that machines in the form of the nc part programming and it will be convert it into a uh, signals and that signals moves to the machine and it machine will be started moving the spindles whatever given operation drive and that is our required output so part program is nothing but a set of statement of the machine tools control system can interpret and convert it into them signals that moves the spindles and drive okay the program input device is the mechanism for the part programs to be entered in the nc control the most commonly use the program input devices are keyboards punch tape reader and networks these are the some example for the input devices for the part program okay so we will take the one example you can see here a uh, part program one uh, program is made or uh, one example one block is made you can see here first letter n10 means indicates the sequence number for that given operations g01 means that linear interpolation mode already we have seen that g code m code in that we are going to give a linear interpolation mode for that we are entering here g01 
x and y this is the coordinate related to the axis and f is a feed rate for that particular operation so we can see here one part program is a series of the coded instruction coded instruction means already we have seen that this coded means for what you want for that particular that in block so i want to just linear intervolution related to the x5 2.5 y and feed rate so this is a coded instruction required to produce a part it controls the movement of the machine tool and the on off control of the auxiliary functions such as the spindle rotation coolant on off already we have seen that the some uh, miscellaneous code for the coolant on off spindle on off spindle rotation that coded instruction you are going to using for the part programming the coded instruction are composed of the letters numbers and symbols are arranged in the format of the functional blocks as in the following example or do we have seen this type of the example we are going to we are going to use in the actual part program okay so this is the first part that is a part program uh, in the program input devices the program input device is the mechanism for the part programs to be entered into nc control the most commonly used program input device is puncher tape reader whatever uh, required operation is there suppose drilling is there and for the drilling purpose we have made one cnc part program okay likewise previous slide is that here uh, sequence uh, there uh, some by using letters numbers that uh, we have seen that previous that n10 g01 x coordinate y coordinate likewise we have created for one block for the drilling of purpose so i want to convert this program into the signals and from that signal machine will be run and uh, machine will be doing that their operation but what is the way to the convert this signals program to the signals to the machines so punch tape reader is one of the most commonly used input device for the converting this path program to into the signal to the nc machine like this there are different uh, there are more input devices by using for the at the time the nc machine but in the nc part programming punch tape reader is the most common input device for converting this part program to signal to the nc machine okay so you can see here this is the one punch card example this type of the punch card we have created after the nc part programming and we are just sending the signal to the nc machine for the further operations so you can just see here the person is sitting on the machine and they are creating the punch tape from the given that part program nc part program so before uh, starting nc machine we have to create the punch tape from that program and that punch tape we are going to insert in the machine and that punch tape will be created some signals and that signals will be transferred to that machines okay so we will see the punch tape sequence of the processing steps is called as a part program okay we are um, going to create the block before starting any block we have to give some sequence number that n n is later for the sequence operation so sequence of processing steps steps means block number 1 2 3 4 5 like this okay so this is called as a part program the medium to write a part program in nc machines was a 1 inch punch tape okay so uh, there is some uh, rule for that writing the part program to the in punch tape format so medium to write the part program in nc machine was 1 inch punch tape nc machine coding system uses alphabetical characters numerical and other special symbol in part program already we have seen that alphabetical character means that g code n f for feed s for speed like this we are using the miscellaneous code preparatory code and numerical means value that coordinate coordinates and other special symbols okay now we can see this is some of the example for punch tape already might you have seen that like this punch tape is there in industries they are using for creating uh, manufacturing the different different part so this is one of the just specification reading of that punch tape description is there binary in terms of binary letters so for this is your for this on only understanding purpose we are not going to use any uh, at the time of the program so you can see here this is the tape reader oldest tape reader this is also punch tape reader a phonic system so second part of the nc machine system that is machine control unit 
the machine control in it uh, it is a basically heart of the nc system uh, it is used uh, to perform the following function basically it is the heart of the nc system means it is a control everything means it is the main part of the part program nc part program so we will see one by one our uh, functions it is a uh, used for the coding read the coding instruction purpose okay whatever uh, provided that part program as a input to the machines so after that input the machine control unit is a first work is read the given coding instruction one by one and decode that coded instruction for the further purpose or manufacturing process and provide the decoded information to the control loops of the machine axis of motion once the given coded instruction read one by one suppose block number one is read by the machine control unit after that they are going to decode that coded instruction and after that decoded information is to transfer the machine axis through control loops for the further operations control machines tool operation this is the functions of the mcu you can see here this is our mcu mcu consists of the two unit dpu and clu and this is our actual nc machines so after given program as input to the machine control unit where i already have seen that the function of the mcu so mcq includes the two uh, subtypes or two um, data the data processing unit and control loop unit so we will see the what is the basic function of the data processing unit and control loop unit so first of all we will see the dpu uh, dpu read is the program decodes it process the information and passes it to the control loop unit once that input program uh, part program uh, decoded by the dpu and they will process for information they will create the some signals and they will passes to the loop unit control loop unit and uh, what is the function of the clu it will be convert that information to the control signals and drives the mechanism receives the feedback about the position velocity and instruct the dpu to read the new instruction suppose i want to create or i want to to uh, travels to one point to second point uh, so i want to create one block number one that is a em10 g00 that is a rapid travels x0 y0 okay this is the first line to only the rapid travels to second n20 g01 linear interpolation x20 y20 i want to traverse this tool 0 0 to 20 20 okay so whatever given instruction coded instruction first function of the dpu just read the that code in, decode the that uh, code instruction and process to information to and passes to the control loop unit once that instruction is coming to clu that CLU that instruction converts into control signals and this that signal is drive through mechanism means that uh, G01 X20 Y20 that signal is once receive the MCU MCU will give that uh, signal to that spindle and spindle moves linear interpolation along with X20 Y20 like this if any problem is there that they will send the one feedback regarding the position and velocity of that particular operation and again CLU instruct the DPO to just correct or whether if that um, uh, co instruction, instruction is correct then go for the next instruction read the next of new instruction okay like this each and every block they will sending the signals to DPO DPO uh, uh, sending that inform information to CLU CLU sending the, the signal to machines and they will send the feedback and like this they are going to complete the all the part program okay so this is the basic function of the mcu that is a machine control unit so in that dpu already we have seen that uh, it include at least input device point step reader reading circuit checking logic for the reading information purpose decoding circuits distributing data interpolates which is supply velocity commands between successive points taken from the drawing in the clu position control loops for all the axis velocity control loops auxiliary function control such as a coolant on off spindle on off like this some you know, function should we have in clu and dpu okay so this is the second unit 
so we will move towards the last that is a processing units that is your actual cnc machines or machining last process that so processing equipment so first the programming in that we are just collecting the information programming just after that emc we are just reading that information code it decoding the transfer the signal to the machines and after the last point just we are going to the manufacturing so these are the elements of the nc system so next part is the concept of work zero and machine zero uh, work zero means it is a location where we are uh, uh, actually not started the uh, work but our tool is near about the work where we can start the work operation uh, it, it is also called as work zero job zero and floating zero points so actually we are not starting the operation but we are it to start or we can start the operation at this point okay here we can start the operation and machine zero means it is the origin of the coordinate system which is defined by the manufacturer means we can define one reference point in near about the workpiece but not actually on the workpiece so some distance away from the workpiece we can create the machine zero point which is having that coordinate system is a zero zero point and that point we are starting the moving tool at a certain uh, some distance away from the workpiece as a safety distance and then we will start our operations with the reference to work zero point okay so it is the origin of the coordinate system which is defined by the manufacturer they can't be changed it is also called as fix zero point okay. so this is the work zero and machine zero work zero means our tool is near about or near to the workpiece and machine zero means our tool is far away from the workpiece okay. so next part is uh, classification of nc system uh, first type is work and tool relationship in that machine with rotating tool milling drilling second is machine with rotating workpiece lathe machine with non rotating workpiece that is non rotating tools shaper planer fourth one is unconventional machining edm ecm other machine tools like cmm next type based on the motion type point to point straight cut countering based on the positioning absolute incremental types of control system open loop closed loop based on the power supply electric hydraulic and pneumatic so this is the just classification of the nc system uh, in next lecture we will see in the details so for today's lecture this is enough thank you